There is a legend among travellers about the fabled pagoda tree. Its roots are of silver, its branches of twisted gold. Merchants who voyage to India believe that when they shake the limbs, the ripe fruits will fall. What does not fall, they take. My book is largely told through the eyes of a young temple dancer named Maya and like her mother before her she is destined to be a temple dancer. These women were trained in languages, in dance, in the mystical arts and in love making. India is in a state of upheaval. The British are coming, their power has risen to new heights and the city is sliding into war. If you can imagine, this is the 18th century, you've got Europeans coming to India for the first time. They also saw these temple dancers. They were entertained by these women at great parties and at the gatherings of the princes of the day. And the Europeans were also seduced by these women. What really intrigued me was the fact that these women at their height were like the Madonna or the Audrey Hepburn of their day. They were independent, wealthy, empowered. They were the only women who were taught to read and write. And more than that, they combined both the sexual and the spiritual. And it's this tension that I explore with my character, Maya. I really wanted to bring to life the mysterious world of the Devadasi or temple dancer in all of its complexity, sensuality and mystery. I wanted to write a novel that was both rich in historical detail, but that also a novel in which my characters live and breathe and have resonance for us today.